Igbo temple objects okay. in the past. Mm. A man in Igbo land must have temple. We call it Obu, Obu. in Igbo language. Mm. And in the temple, these are what you see there. Okay. Uh, Anunebe, see it, number one. Okay. Ofo, number two. Mm. Uh, Ofo scepters, power of authority. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, Ochemo, mm. see it there. Okuku, Okuku in Rijabono. When somebody does something that is bad mm. to an angry man or woman, the Indians will cost the person by a bono. Wow. It's Jay Love on the beat. NigerFavor.com <laughs>
Ndi namoko from Diodo. Ndi briefe from Obago. Ku unified ofo na alo aguku and Diodo. Mm. Ndi omalo uroji. Ndi jofa abada first mm. abada ana. Ndi omalo onyeso Obago. Ndi anyamata uroji. Ndi fenenu abada ana. Ndi ago Obago. Ndi apya and ndi alike boat from Uroji died the same day. Wow. Ndi ezimilo abada ana. Ndi egwenetem abada ana. This man was killed by Amrobas and his son was coronated. Wow. That's why Abadana two times. Okay. Uh, first, Obago. Ndiobalike, Uroji. Ndiobalike, second, Taban Sudan, mm. Abadana. And the present day, Ndiobalike, second, Ubudegu, Onyeso. So all these are kings? Kings from... that have ruled Ndiobalike. Ndiobalike. Wow. From 1043 AD to date. Wow. This, their biography. Wow. Their history. As in the royal head, representing all the past kings of uh, Nri. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. Then, um, Allah, staff of political and ritual power, mm -hmm. derived from uh, God. Nri mm -hmm. eh. Mwana first, see the picture. Okay. 1795 to 1886, when he reigned. These are the artifacts collected in his temple. Wow. Some of the things. We found after the war. Wow. This is a Ubum Ezen Rengolana first, mm. long metal gong. This man was on the throne when the Europeans came. Mm. So they put pressure on him to accept Christianity and the education. Mm. And as a result of the pressure they put on him, he suddenly died wow. in 1936, 27th August 1936. These are the remnants of what we collected from his temple at Uroj. Wow. This is his long metal gong. Throne. Uche Zendri, Taban Sudan. See the man in person. In the Jofo II. 1937 to 1987. These are, inside the showcase, are the remnants of what he used when he was alive. What his shoes and... Shoes, spectacles, everything. Wow. This is his uh, Ubom metal gong. Then these are the royal drums mm. of Kaban Sudan. We call it Ibueze. Ibueze. And see the drummers. Okay, wow. Yeah. This is the cow he killed the day he was coronated. The head. The head. The skull. Wow. Then the, the, the clay pot. He used to store his drinking water. Wow. Then his um, Ikenga. Mm. Then um, this one is uh, Ichi Max because. He has each marks on his face. Okay. Then these are materials used by Ezen, present one. Mm. first. Mm. He's a symbol, as I showed you before. Yeah. Yeah. Metal gong, which he used to silence the crowd. Mm. Then Ezen royal vest, an Ibuku excavation by Professor Teston Shaw. He's in Gwagelega. He's in Gwagelega. Okay. Mm. Events in the palace. Pictures of events in the palace from Taban Sudan to date. Wow. If you go gradually, you see, this is when he was given later the Megujuku offer wow. to survive the war. Wow. Plus other pictures. Amazing pictures. Yes. Atale. Ankuru for other men. Okay. Okobo. Given to. Men, young men who, who uh, they initiate into a mangolo. Okay. This okobo serves as a box mm. and a stool. During the ceremony of the uh, mangolo, mm. the candidate will sit on it like this. Then the ceremony will go on. Wow. After performing the ceremony of initiation, mm. he will then carry it here. Dance in the marketplace with the dancer, other people. Anything given to him, cash, materials, he will open it and put it uh, inside. Wow. Now, Igbo temple objects. Okay. In the past, mm. a man in Igbo land must have temple. We call it Obu, Obu. in Igbo language. Mm. And in the temple, these are what you see there. Okay. Uh, Anunebe. See it, number one. Okay. Ofo, number two. Mm. Uh, Ofo scepters, power of authority. Mm. Uh -huh. 
Oche mwa. Si ide. Okuku. Okuku eji nri jabonu. When somebody does something that is bad mm. to an Indian man or woman, the Indian will cost the person by a bono. Wow. So all these things is what you see in a temple of a full-fledged Igbo man in the past. Wow. Now this one is wooden gong called uh, Ekwe. Symbol of authority mm. for any age grade. Yeah. When they want to perform, or when they want to go for funeral for their member mm. or do anything, mm. they will carry the equi. Knock it. Then another thing, equi serves as a, uh, uh, that is, uh, we use it as uh, uh, for alerting people mm. about certain things. Now, town criers. Yeah. <laughs> so equi does two things for age grade and for alerting people about an uh, event. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, this one is called uh, uh, Adiogwe. During funeral of a pagan, there must be beating of the Abia. Mm -hmm. Only those whose father are no more alive will dance to the Abia. Mm -hmm. Um, Akwale, Arobunago, mm. gods wow. of Igbo people. Gods of the Igbo Guinea people. people. This one is a fertility shrine mm. called Akwale Omu. In the past, mm. before the arrival of Europeans with their missionary, yeah. the Igbos believe in Akwale. That Akwale protects a woman, a newly married woman, mm. and her children for long life and prosperity, mm. healthy life. This one is uh, Aqualium, Arab Nago. They produce in their compound to give protection to every member of the family. While this one is Ebo and Abaraba. This is Ebo, this is Abaraba. Mm. <laughs> During New Year festival, like yesterday, mm. every Ibo man will uh, mount this uh, red earth in front of his gate, mm. with a abadab in front. They sacrifice fowl, mm. ebono koko. Mm. They pour the blood here. They talk to it to give them bumper harvest of yam, mm. long life, mm. prosperity, and healthy heart. Yeah. So that's the work of uh, Ebo and again abadab. Mm. Then this one is. Uh, um, <clears throat> Um, this one is uh, Akonuche mm. Awo. Mm. Of Awo. Mm. Akonuche Awo. When somebody, a boy, is misbehaving, the father will produce what we call the Akonuche Awo, the seat of common sense. Mm. Eh? So that the boy will behave well, have sense mm. in his head. <laughs> then uh, this one is called uh, Odakolu. It's mounted in front of a gate mm. during funeral of a, a non Christian. Okay. To protect people that will come for the funeral. Okay. If somebody carries dangerous charms, this thing will wedge it yeah. from being into action. Yeah. Then this is uh, the skin of uh, a ram. Okay. Mm. Which the native doctors and some pagans use to offer to sit on top of, on it and offer sacrifice. Okay? This one is uh, for sacrifice. When something serious is happening in an environment, mm. certain condiments, traditional condiments will be collected, put inside it, go to the thick forest and offer it there as sacrifice wow. to scare away bad spirits and evil forces that will cause trouble within that environment. This one is called the, the devil of the highway. Okay. In the past, every man must have this behind his compound. Okay. Whenever he wants to travel, mm. he will bring local white egg, local Igbo white egg, mm. aqua cook Igbo. Mm. Break it, pour the water here, say something. I, I'm traveling to Asaba. I want you to give me safe journey. Mm. That's the work of it. That's wow. why they call it uh, the devil of the highway. It is scares away devil, mm. evil forces mm. on the way of the man. He will go and come, come back. back. Now, this one is also called uh, Odakulu, but this Odakulu is planted on the ground okay. because of Christianity. Mm. 
they don't want the Reverend Father or the Okochuku to see this thing. So during funeral of a man, they will dig a hole on the ground, mm. drop it there, cover it. Okay. After four days, they will remove it. Then this one is Agumme. This Agumme, in the past, mm. they put it in their pocket to give them protection against poison. Okay. If you give him poison in Utaba, snuff, mm. or wine, pan wine, he will vomit it. No. So this Agumme is very powerful. From a bed called the Rego, mm. we collected this from Usuka in the past, but presently we've been asking for it, we can't get it. No. You can't, uh, this is uh, <coughs> Obonsi. Obonsi, mm. God. Okuku. Okuku. Mm. For draining out bad blood from the body. Okay. When somebody is suffering from pains. Okay. For drinking pan wine. Mm. Tortoise. A wise animal. Mm. Uh, the house of a bee. Mm. Mm. No, no. Mm -hmm. Then this one is used to pray. For praying. Okay. If somebody carries cola not on the high trend, mm. you carry this one and live a pray to God. Give us long life and prosperity. Then after praying, you just That's bring true. some particles of it pour on the ground. Say long life and the prosperity. Mm. The seat. They sit on top of it to offer sacrifice to the ancestors. Wow. Ikenga. Alosi. Uh, God, um, deity. Mm. The same thing here. The, another deity. Mm. Nzu. You know, this Nzu is got from the ground, mm. but it is so white. Whenever they are praying, they will draw for. Eke. Oh yeah. Afo. Nkwa. Asking for protection from the four market days wow. that are deities. For invoking the spirits. Whenever you want to offer sacrifice to mm. the ancestors mm. in the temple of an, uh, for an Igbo man, you will knock the Ogene four times. Mm. They will all come out and listen. Wooden gong for women. Offer. Scepter. Of weapon, so they are The former kids of Iboland. Eke. Oye. Afo. Because they are brothers. The Ebili, Alpha Chaplet, mm. eh? called the Ebili or Ugili in Igbo language. <laughs> but in English, we call it a Chaplet, Alpha Chaplet, Prediction Chaplet. Mm. Eberebe leaves for scaring away bad spirit and evil forces. Mm. The same thing with Ovebe, for scaring, you just hang it in your compound, mm. the wounds will blow in it like this, scaring away evil forces and bad spirits. Mm. Offer. Nine offer tied together. Mm. Signifying that another man has performed all titles in Henry. Then this one is called the, the local fraud of uh, um, <coughs> pan, pan, <coughs> pan wood. When you put light inside it, the thing will bring it, will bring out smokes. Mm. Casting away, chasing out evil forces and the uh, evil spirits. That's the function. Kola nut, Ojibo. Kola mm. is a very important fruit in Igbo land. We use it to pray, we use it to swore oath, and so many other things, even marriage ceremony. Then, objects of personality cults in Igbo land Ikenga, mm. Deity, Alose, Obonsi. Small Ikenga, all these things are what help the Igbo people to perform wonders in the past. Because of Christianity, modern people no longer make use of them. Then ceremonial iron lances. Autonsi, Umada, Eja, Walu, Adama people. Another autonsi, for cleansing of abomination. Mm. And only the man. Traditional in remand that is pure, we, it has the power to cleanse uh, abomination. Mm. Alo. See autons. See autons. This is Alo. This is Oji. For strong mask masquerades and strong native uh, doctors. Autons. Mm. Nguagelega. Or Nguazo. For other title, the uh, mm. men. Mm. This is uh, Ntufa Zimbo. 
Whenever you enter inside a, in a compound, you see this, in, it mm. means that the, the owner of that compound has performed the highest uh, title wow. in, in the kingdom. Mm. Now, here, Abu. Abu is an ambivalent spirit, mm. sometimes destructive, sometimes constructive. When Abu is destructive, we have to appease Abu mm. by offering sacrifice of, of uh, breadfruit, okwa, mm. cola nut, pan wine, hot drink to Abu, appealing to Abu to cool uh, down. So these are the particles of uh, Abu. Mm. Toto is Abu, Nzu Abu, Iko Abu Jangumaya, Cop, Ulili Abu, Skurian, Rat Abu, Woman Abu, Ugeba Abu Jangum, Ofa Abu, all these things are the particles of again, Abu. I say that Abu is an ambivalent spirit, mm. sometimes destructive, sometimes constructive. When it is constructive, you appease it by praising it. Mm. But when it is destructive, you use left hand to, to pour saliva or or um, ash into into all to eat. Calling it, calling the agu all sorts of rubbish here names. Mm. But when the agu is performing well, based on the performance of the person, mm. we have to praise agu. Just like Ikenga, when somebody is doing well in his business or anything, the man that has an Ikenga, every every year the man will slaughter a cow, a goat, or a fowl mm. to the Ikenga, praising the Ikenga for performance. Now you will call it objects. In the past, our people initiate themselves into various courts mm. that give them power, authority. Now we have what we call Umwako court, court of wealth. Mm. Iru court, court of face. Iru court. Ufo court, court of fame, popularity. Mm. Then Uku uh, Nije court, court of movement, adventure in so many places. Wherever you move, People will like you, mm. recognize you. Mm. Each surgical blades, Muyeje Wichi in the past. Mutaba, mm. snuff a cup. See Ichi man. Let Ignatius Ilani. He's the, the man, an Ichi man that died in last. That was the last of. Yes. It. Then this is a, a wooden carved replica of an Igbo man in the past, before 1905, when the Europeans penetrated into southern Nigeria to convert the, the, the southerners into Christian religion and so on. We are in Natalie, Ankuru, with Ichimax, with Ogodowa, tying the wrapper behind his bottles, protecting his uh, private parts. Mm. Then putting his Right hand on the jaw, thinking what these people have come to uh, Nigeria to do. That was during the time of Ezra Rabalike. Mm. The pressure they put on him made him to die so early. He was the youngest Ezra on the throne. Mm. Some stayed 80 years, 70 years, but he stayed just a few, 20 something years. Even the present one, Obudu Egonye, is mm. 30 years. Wow. Enem Mama Skurid, staged by the Ndri indigens in Onisha okay. in 1988. Mongo Ega, 1960 to date. Rope adult masquerade. We do not borrow the masquerade. Nde ba ya date ya borrow. Nde mongo nde ba ya date ba. Mongo omawo adult masquerade since AD 1629 to date. See our masquerade here. This one, Obalagidi, staged by Okwana age grade wow. in 1975. So somebody will... We, yes, we put his head here. Wow. The, the body is inside our store, the body of the masquerades. All these masquerades have their body inside the store. Wow. Akwebrisi, staged by Udoka age grade, 1977. Mm. Okwuma masquerade, staged by Ndoka age grade. 1979. Oh. Then um, Ugo Masquerade. Ugo Masquerade. Ugo Bed Masquerade. The, one of the modern masquerades mm. we see today in Igbo land. Then uh, this is uh, the remnants of the first Ijele staging in Henry. Mm. 
which was carried to Anisha in early 20th century to welcome Bishop uh, Hiri. These are the remnants, some of the charms he used to protect itself against poison and the falling down. Okay. These are small masquerades that follow the jelly. You see, Olaga. Hmm. Oh, say, police. Namong, nemong, nukun namong, isi mong na one up All this is a small masquerade that follow the jelly during outing. I hope you guys are seeing what's happening here. Ibo head gear. We call it Ukwabara. Ukusoks. Ukwabareba. But it's the popular headgear for the Igbo men. The face of uh, an Akalobili man. When somebody reaches 40, 50 years, unable to marry, if he dies, he becomes an Akalobili. That waterless spirit roaming up and down in the spirit world, causing confusion on earth. Ekwe. One of the musical instruments in, of the Igbo people, oh. with all these assorted types of musical uh, instruments, mm. African drum called the Bogidi, Ngedelegu, Udu, wooden pot, Ekwe, mm. wooden gong, fan, Ichaka, Nyo, Ekwe, Obo, Jita, Mbenuku, Nyo. All these things are Igbo musical uh, instruments. Ute Igbo, Igbo mat. Twelve, twelve AD to date. The Igbo started to use it by AD twelve, twelve, wow. and some people are still using it now. This thing is uh, a kwafolo, bamboo bed, used in the past. Mm. You can only see people using it now around the Soka area. Because in the Isuka area is where we bought this one. Okay. Our people no longer use this. Then this is uh, for drinking wine okay. by our fathers then. Past ancestors. The big one for women. Mm. The big one for men. Then no kuku. Small one for drinking out by the blood. Then this one is Ugo. The feather of Ugo, Ugo bed. Very costly and very powerful. Oh. Body ornaments. All these things is what our men and the women used in the past to decorate themselves. Wow. There are many. Jigida, bangles, wristlets. So many of them, including um, tusks, beads of a certain type, wooden wooden um, uh, wristlets, and so on and so forth, including in Jack. Mm. Uh -huh. All these are the materials our men and women used to decorate and equip themselves to look during good. outing. To look good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is um, Oburu, ancient suitcase. Okay. Women used to pack their clothes. It had so many partitions where they keep Jewelries. Mm. Uh -huh. Then uh, this is money. Old money, a certain types. Both uh, cowries, coins, British, Nigerian, Biafran coins. So this is also money? This one, no. Okay. Now, this one is stone knife. Okay. While the other one is matches. Okay. When they knock okay. the stone together, okay. light will come out. But these ones are money, money. used in the past. <laughs> Take a, take a close of the. Wow. So these are all the money we Money have. used, Biafra coins, everything complete. Uh, this is Manila. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, money in Diego, that's rod. No. Yeah. Animal cloth. Worn by our women mm. around 1885 to 1904. When they wear it, you will see their inner parts because the cloth, the cloth is not fully mm. covered. covered. But these are the modern ones now. 
This one should replace this one. By 1905, our Igbo women start to wear this one. Shovel, wooden shovel. When our people used to build the uh, houses with red uh, sand, mm. this is the shovel they use. But this one is the trowel. Wow. We are trowel for plaster. Yeah. Mm. Then this one is a uh, seat, anula pot stand. This is um, <coughs> pan wood uh, fraud. They collect fresh one. Mm. Use it as tropical stand. Then when it is dry, they destroy it and produce new one. Grinding stone. Wooden mortar. Mm. Small one. Wooden tray. Small one. Big wooden mortar for pounding. Pan, pan, uh, that is uh, uh, fufu. Okay. And uh, yam. This is the pounder. The handle. Mm. Then these things are cooking utensils. You can see in, a, in an, an Igbo woman's kitchen. For preserving them, dry the meat and fishes. Mm. The same thing with this one. Then the local fan, local spoons called the eku. Wooden plates mm. for food and soup in the past. Uh, clay pots, all these things, clay pots for cooking. Cooking. Okay. <laughs> Hurricane lantern, uh, mm. that's a kitchen knife for stirring soup and uh, maize, mm. grounded maize, for storing dried fishes and uh, meats. Let Ide Simon, MSC Abana, mm. 1919 to 2020, 101 years. I, I attended his. Uh, <laughs> he died last mm. among his age mates. Wow. And they brought his uh, picture here and the wo uh, wooden gong of his age grade, okay. Amakeku. Okay. War weapons. Igbo war weapons. Then okay. gone, called uh, Ebuento. Mm. Umaga mm. called Umagaga. He sent him with this for fighting each other in the past. Mm. Ota. Kao Rafia shell. The medium one, the small one, and big one. Spare Ube. I age Umaji when I get Kumiko. I bet any poison at all. Who know about a laro? I am. Kao war helmets. Then empty shell. Of a tortoise in our lake here. Wow. The Ezui de Milindri. Wow. 1971 was collected. The biggest tortoise ever seen in Ibo land. Wow. Python skin. These are small ones. We have long ones stolen some time ago from here. Wow. This is the wooden replica of the python. Ekeoba. Ka wild python, him with a sacred one. Can I do no no? Ana papa papa. Papa tabe madono lo. He will see me again. Papa because the python is owned by deities. Alose. And this time, Ana I tried to locate the the Alose that owns that uh, python. Kala bad bowel. When. The early missionaries came to Ezenro Abalike. Mm. Abalike gave them a gift of this thing. So they took it to France. Wow. To remember when they came to Ezenro Abalike. So the replica of that one given is this. Okay. Water spirit, mermaid. Mm. It has so many names. Some people call it marine spirit. Yeah, more mm. Some people call it mermaid. Mm. Some people call it mermaid water. Mm. Some people call it god goddess of the sea. Mm. So it has so many names. But normally, it's water spirit controlling all the amphibians inside the river, lake, 
or ocean moves with two pythons or fish you must see either fish behind mm. or python Igbo mm. fishing implements 1902 to date yeah. net for catching fishes in the in the water mm. hook pardon for steering the ship this canoe this canoe is for little children crocodile fish in the water Nets, raffia nets, fish trap. Mm -hmm. With this one. Our people use this type, while uh, Enugu state people use this type. Okay. So all these are traditional fishing uh, implements. Um, these four trees are ritual trees. Very important to the Igbo people. Mm. Ibu. Uh, Dandanura. The Dandanura grows in a thick forest. Okay. Coiling, coiling. If it jumps tallest tree, it will be coiling. During rainy season, it becomes a plant. While during dry season, it becomes an animal. Wow. And the, the, the people use the, the leaves to perform certain rituals. Wow. This one is Oglis called the Niboldia, the botanical name. The Oglisi is used to produce the open sea, you see, and the Kenga. That is the big stem. Mm. The covers will cover it. Then it will be consecrated. Amacha and amacha. In the absence of open sea during the offering or sacrifice, you can bring four leaves of the Oglisi, put it on the ground, then you offer sacrifice. Because the Igbo people believe that Oglisi is a uh, Arrows, deity. Then this one is uh, Obuchi. This Obuchi is very powerful and strong uh, ritual tree in Igbo land. Mm. Because now one, when somebody, when a man marries, he will and have a child, he will plant a ob ob Obuchi. Eh? We call it a ritual tree. That signifies that that man has is now has become a man. Ogole a man, Obgul Moke. Omago Obuchi, as we call it in Igbo. After living for so many years, when he dies, the Obuchi will be uprooted with some sacrifices, meaning that the, the man is no more alive. Igbo pottery vessels. Clay pottery vessels for so many things. Storing drinking water, drinking water. Preservation of uh, pan nuts, cassava, and so on and so forth. Drinking water, drinking water, drinking water, drinking water for the kings. Mm. This one, water, water. These ones are for offering or sacrifice in the thick forest. Then this one as musical instruments for preservation of certain things by the Igbo people. So all these collectively, we call them Igbo pottery vessels. Mm. Finally, Igbo agricultural implements and palm wine equipments. Mm. Agri equipment, who, ogo, nko, mwa machets, another ngwa nguana. The the farmer's uh, hat or cap for protecting his head against sunshine. Then a pan wine tepper, that's a cup. These things make a lot of meaning to the Igbo people because the Igbos are farmers yeah. and they, they drink a lot of pan wine and up wine. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. We appreciate that. Thank you. Of course, you guys have uh, heard from our curator. Of course, this is well detailed. I'm really excited, you know, seeing all of this, seeing all of this right now, man. It's giving me so much joy. So, wherever you are, Anywhere you are, find yourself to this place. This is in Ngri. Of course, like I said earlier, Ngri is in, uh, in, a, in, in under um, Agnosha local government in Anambara State. Of course. Um, of course, this video is long, so I'll be posting it gradually, gradually. But if you're on YouTube, you can watch it full time. Just in case you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification button. Just in case I drop my video. Oh, yeah. See you next time.